Hey, you! About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I knew I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? Fifty measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows, maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I never knew that. I need to see the leader of the Paladins. I've got an important message for him. Oh, and what important message might that be? The hosts of evil are camped in the Valley of Carinus. In the Valley of Mines? You come from there? Have you seen the army? No, but I know that it's led by dragons. Oh, sure. And my grandmother advises the Orc generals. You don't think we'll let you carry an old wives' tale like that to Lord Hagen? Scram. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mmm, looks good. All right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. Do you really believe that? The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The Paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. Nobody will learn anything. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. You hardly know who to believe these days. Wait and see. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. A 
Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons. I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. So mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. I have come to get the Eye of Innos. The Sacred Eye of Innos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But... I don't want to hear any more about it. First you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then this. Incredible! All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First... The Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. Only the Paladins themselves and members of the Militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the Commander of the Militia. Any questions? That doesn't surprise me. How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, never knew only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. That's I the see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. About it. Really How do I become that. a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. I'm not telling you anything new. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. I'm not touching Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinthus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harbor District, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia. You're not even a citizen. How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. 
What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command, a certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway, but you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to this city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So, can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But? In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. How do I get the approval of the other masters? 
You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. Hey! Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? Nah. I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I need some money and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases. But now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries! The whole thing will end in a damn war, as if one war weren't enough. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader's supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. Show me your wares. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard... I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. 
Show me your wares. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or, uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Show me your wares. Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Do you know anything about the peasants' rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. Damn it, what do you want? Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. 
I was quite pleased with him, actually, but one day he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. <laughs> How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinnus without a decent job. Is that so? So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks. That way, I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinnus, especially lately. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Well, if you mean, do I say my prayers regularly? I see. A man who does not ply his trade with the blessing of the gods will never receive my approval. Ask for the gods' forgiveness for your transgressions. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Innos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Can you sell me some lockpicks? Well, all right, but they won't be of any use to you as long as you don't know how they work. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not going to teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Gritta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. How's it going? Same as always, but I don't want to complain. Matteo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos, the fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet and times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. 
People must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland. Precious spices from the southern countries. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Gritta had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances, and now this soulless, callous Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, sometimes we were even at the f Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. I'm gonna pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No. They're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place. But they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, a 100 gold pieces is a 100 gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me.
What's the matter? It was very noble of you to pay for me. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, may Inos rest his soul, brought back from the Southern Islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last, there's somebody in town whose virtue... Yeah, yeah, never mind. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Maybe later.